absence of Brad Miller, a late withdrawal with a virus. Holland at half forward. Neitz gives the lead. That's where it's going. Neitz will contest. From behind, up goes Bruce. Modest bought his own man, but he's got, got it. Ground level. Cameron Bruce into the open goal. That's the first of the Demons. Good play, Cameron Bruce. He had the sit, went for the ball, and picked up his own crumbs. By the Saints, Noble has had a bit of an already in the middle, stripped of the ball. The Saints clear away again. Here goes Bruce. His beautiful white foot. Look at that. Green has marked deep in attack for the Demons. Demons. Looks like Green is, is changing with Cameron Bruce. Uh, Green now being picked up by Schwartz. Bruce in the middle of the ground. Um, Stephen Baker was a player set for Brad Green. Not a bad move from Neil Danaher. Take Green forward. Tackle by Davey was fantastic. Ball was away, and he's not slow, Paul. He had about one and a half steps before he was absolutely nailed by Davey. Tough kick, this one. A little bit of right to left about it. You feel from up here. I know we haven't been down on the ground, but in comes Green. A very tough yeah. kick. There it is, the umpire just backs up and says, Boy! That was well done, Brad Green. They've got their second and right. the demons. That uh, is a got him pretty hard. Tyron Rowe, the umpire, oh. jumping right on it. Shortage kick by Uze, finds Rivers. Close to the man on the mark, chipping kick out wide. Now Green can run here. He's got support in Effingham for the Shepherd if he needs it. Green runs, takes it's a bounce, bounce, driving kick inside 50. Here they come. Spot. Did boss in the air. He's had seven possessions, Ben Holland. I don't reckon he's had that many in a quarter ever. And the move that Jason McCartney flagged might be on. Maguire to go back to Holland. And uh, Voss perhaps to go to the smaller Johnston. Seven points down. The Demons, as we draw into red time in this first quarter, 22 and a half minutes expired on the clock. Holland will come in. 11 goals, 11 for the year. An unexpected star up forward has been Holland. Kick on the way. Looks good. Look at that. The umpire just watched it sail over the top. And the Demons are back within a point. And Luke Ball just coming off for a breather after a huge first quarter. Ordinary kick from Graham. Graham. Turned it over. I was about to say he's had a reasonably impressive first quarter, but this might cost his side. Robertson has marked Ooh. 45 out directly in front. Kick coming in from Heffernan. Well, the thing about it is, Brian, that um, St Kilda are playing OK. The one part where they're playing magnificently is at full forward. And uh, Nick Revolt has got all four goals. Apart from that, probably in general field play, Melbourne are shading them. So Russell Robertson coming in for his 13th goal of the season. They need it to keep in touch and they get it. Well played, Russell Robertson. Throw in Holland does the ruck work against Blake. Blake flicks it backwards. Hudson, good clean hands to Maguire. Oh. But he couldn't get the kick away far enough. And the man with the deadly boot has got it. Brad Green has kicked one today. A magnificent goal from about 45 out on a pretty tight angle. And that was Brad Green's 20th of the season. He's kicked 20 goals for Gary. Could not be in worse hands if you're a St Kilda supporter, I wouldn't think. Wouldn't think. And 149 goals, 70. This for his career, 150th goal. Brad Green comes in to put Melbourne in front. Collects the whole lot. Demons in front. All of a sudden, Melbourne have kicked three of the last four goals. In the middle, they go. Melbourne have been good in this area. Walsh pushed off. Ooh, look at Anyone can front him. White to Reed inside the centre square. Long ball. Needs it led. Now he had to get back to the square quickly. It's gone over the head and it's a goal. Reed's got one from inside the centre square. Well, Brian, it's out of the middle. Uh, I have mentioned on a couple of occasions that. The Saints are starting with some of their star midfielders outside the centre square. Now, Lenny Hayes is currently at about uh, just inside 50. You've got Baker, Blake, Ball and Harvey. Uh, but Melbourne just clearing the ball out of the middle there too easily. Goals have come from a combined total of 85 metres. So he's getting them right in close to the goals. The long kick from Graham was a beauty. Yep. Now's a chance for Melbourne. Out comes the exciting Davey. Went down with the one hand, knocked it forward. Here's Davey again, twisting and turning, doing some shadow boxing. Look at that deft touch around the body. Sublime. 
Yeah, well, yeah, Travis it, Johnson's got the mark. Sorry, yeah, Ed, I'll put right. our stats man to work here. I remember playing against St Kilda in a game that Tony Lockett, I reckon, kicked 12 out of 14 out at Waverley, Melbourne v St Kilda, and uh, the Demons still won. So maybe that's running through New England his mind. Well, they're still kicking goals. Just let Nick Revolt go. Johnson comes in from 50. Long kick, bends it back. Beautiful kick for Travis Johnson. The Demons reply. I guess that's the question, Brian, is at one end you've got a bloke absolutely dominant, but the other forward's not contributing too much, so do you just let it go and, and back your midfielders in your own forward line? Well, at the moment you do, Gary, because uh, Melbourne have done all the attacking in this quarter anyway. They've kicked three goals to St Kilda's one, and uh, if Rewalt picks up the occasional goal, well, so be it. Let him go. Lovely kick from Travis Johnson, just coming back into the side after a long layoff. Second quarter, just uh, over 10 minutes remaining. High ball, Noble went up, trying to just bring it to ground. The smother of Johnston wasn't affected. Shot the handball to Bruce. Bruce has got green. Did his man. Was worried a little bit too much about him. And green will line up directly in front, Gary. Yeah, Schwarz went looking for Brad Green. Lost him, lost contact with him as the backman. He turned his back on the play for just a second. There you go. And as soon as you do that, you are gone. So from a Ford's point of view, you've got to try and make your opponent turn around. Green for goal number three of the day. And to put the Demons back in front. From 20 metres out, got it. Three for Green. Demons hit the front. Good work. Good work from Travis Johnston in tight there. He's had a pretty good game. Travis Johnston coming back from a long layoff. But uh, you'll get to see this again. Troy Schwartz, this is the nice hands from uh, Johnston. Bruce to the top of the square. Schwartz has turned his back and then Green was able to read the fly, fly to the, the drop of the ball. And he was never going to miss from there. I have to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Aaron Hamill, of course, having a local anaesthetic in his hip. That's what we're talking about. Before the game, about half an hour before the game at the airport hospital. In the meantime, it's Green running through. Centre half court. Clark closes. The long kick forward. They've got it again. Bruce. It's been Green to Bruce. Bruce to Green. Green to Bruce. Bruce to Green. All game. Green has kicked three goals, and Bruce is lining up a goal number two. I tell you what. The golfing professional at Royal Melbourne, Bruce Green, he's never had as many calls as these two combining. Yeah, great mates, Eddie, no doubt. Yep. And in comes Cameron Bruce. They're waxing these two. Bruce has got his second. Well, Brad Green just continues to have a sensational year, but again, the forwards, with this ball running, the forwards all run towards goal, which means that they... See Hutchton there? He's back to the play. He's not watching the footy. That is great vision there of what we talk about. Cameron Bruce is the first to turn around and the first to react. So the, the run and bounce means that they all head back towards goal, which means the backman has to turn around. Kick drops short, Ford reacts quickest, kicks a goal. Stood in a strong position. Oh, Disney. Didn't get past these handball turnover. Rivers, here they go. The excitement between Davey. Takes a bounce. Clark tries to run him down. He goes very wide. Bruce marks. He's a capable kick, though. And Cam Bruce has got it from beyond the 50 line. He's already kicked two today. Gee, it's an exciting contest. This is, a, this is the sort of thing that Cameron Bruce spends many hours after training just mucking around trying to slot him from here, Brian. To extend the lead to 16 points, Bruce comes in from 52 out. What a practicing those sorts of things at training. He, gee, he's got some talent. Bruce and Green, Green and Bruce. Some good pressure here for the Melbourne forwards. Jared Rivers just working his way on top of uh, Nick Revolt, which is something he probably hasn't had the supply, to be fair to Revolt, but the good thing about Rivers is he's not just content to sit back. He's pushing up and winning a bit of his own footy. And just a beautiful finish from Cameron Bruce. They're making it... An offensive contest as well as a defensive contest. At the back is Bell, the first gamer. Does it well to Heffernan now. Melbourne have got the momentum. They lead by 16 points. Heffernan's kick. Holland comes out. He's got it. 
He's having a purple patch of a day, if, he, if you know what I mean. Same type of mark as what he did. This time, though, he'll go back and have the kick. This is Last time he was six inches out. This time he's 50 metres. Seven marks. He's coming up for possession number 14. Should have had two goals. Yep. He gets his chance to have that now. So Ben Holland, big kick to stretch the lead. For Melbourne, out to 22 points from 50 metres out. It pins back. It pins back. <laughs> There you go, misses from one metre out, kicks it from 50. His second. I think I credited him with seven marks instead of uh, just the three marks, but he's having a sort one, some sort of day. Seven kicks, seven handballs, I should have said. But uh, gee whiz, nice work from Young Bell, first gamer. But it, some, he's just having a day out, Nick Holland at the moment. Cannot do a thing wrong, presenting well, working hard. Wins calmly goes back and slots at Ben Holland. Very good player, Ben. Bill spills out to McDonald. McDonald's high up and under, but Clark's back there for St Kilda. Flew against his teammate Schwartz. Probably should have called him on. And Robertson is away. Has two bounces. Three now. Running up to forward 60. Thumps it long up towards 4-4. They've got it, the Demons. And Big Holland takes the mark. He's kicked two goals. One today will line up from 25 metres out on a slight angle. Not sure where the St Kilda runner is, but uh, would be very surprised if he wasn't making his way to Xavier Clark. Yep. I mean, he jumped on a two-on-one. Spoiled Del Santo, fell over and left Robinson standing, and this is the direct result of that. Yeah, the player was coming back, Gary. You've really got to call them back, don't you? Well, absolutely, and uh, particularly when it's two on one like that. So Ben Holland for goal number three, and Melbourne's first of the term. Kick still, important goal to give Melbourne some breathing space. They lead by nine points. Well, it's his best game in Melbourne colours, you have to say, for Ben Holland. This is the one here. He's just spoiled him, and this is the reason he's coming off to the interchange bench. That is uh, just a cardinal sin. It's getting a bit excited with your own ability. It's uh, forgetting the game plan and putting yourself ahead of the team. You've got to take up coaching, Gary. You are just predicting everything so well. There in that box just issuing these instructions and barking on the occasion. Going grey, Nicholson wide. I believe there's yeah. been a few calls already. White yeah. goes wide. <laughs> yeah. Robinson Mark plays on immediately. Here go the Demons. This is not a laughing matter as the Demons go forward again. Davey over the head, couldn't mark. Off hands, Holland. Chance to kick it. Davey, did he get a beat on him? Ooh. Oh, boy. Davey reckons he has. Umpire agrees. Demons two in a row. Love to see that. I want to see that to see if it's hit his above his knee. That's what could be the interesting one here. Let's have a look, boys. Well, Ben Holland thought he was a shoe-in to get this, and Davy just came from absolutely nowhere. No, no it's a drop kick. Drop yeah. kick. That's the second one of the weekend. Yeah. And put on Friday night. And Davy. Beautiful play. <laughs> yes. He started. <laughs> It was like the back marker was still gift. Yeah, ben Holland was licking his lips at one stage. He gave him 10 metres and still beat him. Poor old Ben Holland gave him a 10 metre start and was run down. <laughs> Out of the centre, White, who's been fantastic to read now. Melbourne just skipping away to a 15 point lead and Holland's got it again. Not even Davy could get in the way that time. Well, he's doing it to David Neitz is Ben Holland. He's effectively playing uh, half forward, full forward. He's now, his statistics, and I reckon he might even frame these because he's had 14 uh, kicks. He's taken five marks, six handballs, and kicked well, three goals. Gordon Coventry was used in a grand final as a decoy full forward one time. Not sure it Nick, does work. I'm not sure Nick's quite agrees with it. In 1930, it? doesn't matter, they won the flag, and here's the chance now for Holland to come in and kick his third goal. Fourth goal, in fact, he's got his number. He's kicked four. That's oh, a fantastic effort. Now Grant Thomas has got to think, well, look, Penny, 
is my number one man down there. He's doing the job on David Neitz to the point where David Neitz has yet to kick a goal and had only two disposals. Might have to swing him over to Ben Holland, who's just absolutely carving him up at the moment. Gary, I don't know if you've been watching it from this with this angle in mind, but is Neitz getting out of the way from Holland? Is he playing as an actual decoy full forward? He wasn't initially. You'd pick him up by the throat and shake him. Well, you would, you would uh, be quite... Uh, you know, just kept going in that situation? Well, you'd just be abusive. Mm. That didn't work, then you'd be physical. <laughs> <laughs> That's to your teammate we're talking about. Yeah. Bruce gets it on to White. This is a big play for the Demons. This could be a match-winning play. As Heaven and Mark's inside 50. Chips over the top. Vardy can stroll into a goal here. And does, and kicks his first... And with six minutes left on the clock in the third term, the Demons are out to a 28 point lead. Yes, the Stephen Mill and you're a genius, Brian. Don't you worry about anyone else. He's off. Um, we're getting into the wrong spots and standing in the way and perhaps not thinking of the team instead of himself. But he's come on and he's a dead eye too. What else the Saints have to do? And that is put some work into Jeff White. He has just been given far too much latitude and room to move into the corridor too, Gary. So he's setting them up with those uncontested possessions. It's incredible that they haven't gone and sat someone on him. Uze kicks it out wide. And that's good play by Robertson. He worked and worked and worked to present an option and ran right to the wing to mark. Tenth possession coming up for Robbo, who sits it up high towards his tall teammates there. Off hands, McLean. She looks like a ready-made footballer, this boy. Up it goes again. Another chance for Johnson, who's got it. And I'll tell you what, the class players in the Melbourne side today, Gary, have really lifted. Johnson's been one who's been tantalising for a number of seasons. He's been very good today. Well, this is one of the bonuses. I think um, there was a conversation not long ago that said that Melbourne had no players they could introduce back into the side other than Bizzle. Well, how quickly they forget Travis Johnston, who is... A, well, one of the most talented blokes running around. He's just got to get some consistency. 15th possession to really put the first nail into St Kilda's coffin today. And he puts it through. And look, they've been very, very patient with him this year too, Travis Johnson. He's had some injury problems. So they've just let him work his way through them. He's only played nine games for the year. They gave him a, a, a longer spell than they've had. That's a great tackle. And uh, he had to come back through Sandringham. He played that game last week, I think it was last week, and played well. And now here he is back in this side. And he might just be the icing on the cake as the Demons head towards September. 28 points of difference. Here's the chance for the Ds as Robertson thumps it forward. McLean is there. There's McLean. There's the goal. That could well be the match just before three-quarter time. good side the demons are a very good side they work hard they've been very good around the stop plays they continually keep the pressure on by rotating good players through the midfield yeah mclean sat on the bench a fair bit that's all you need just a quick kick out i reckon welch's job on jones has been terrific as well hasn't allowed him to run up the ground and create and mclean runs onto the ball imagine but up the other end of the ground well, Leeds have got right into the action. Davy out to Green. Robertson off the ground. Robertson! Euro 2004 winner goal. His first. Second. Now well, he's mercurial, Russell Robertson. His work rate, Brian, you've loved the way he's worked today. I have indeed. He's done the things that he doesn't normally do I guess a lot although you could probably say he has this year that is the one percent as Gary ground level just battled on like that made something out of nothing he's done it all day yep. uh, 14 possessions two goals for Russell Robertson and this final quarter the ball Penny's off the ground their key defender he looks gone for the day Robertson out of the middle kick very workman right today Russell Robinson Holland right set up Trapper Johnston, in he goes for goal number three, handball over the top to Meats. And Meats has got his first goal of the day, deep into the final quarter. Oh, Jeff White out of the middle again. 
bit of class from Johnston. Ben Holland has worked really, really well at centre half forward and full forward. White following on his work from the centre. Sensational. And then Carl Nietzsche, who's had a pretty quiet afternoon, slots through his first for the day. So they continue to keep big scores, Melbourne. 19 goals and win, well, not win, but certainly put themselves into win games without a big contribution from David Neitz. And headed to a memorable victory here at the MCG. They are. Good crowding today, too, in excess of 40,000 here today to watch these two top four teams go at it. Johnston around on the left. Holland has just been unbeatable in the air for most of the day. It has been a highlight up forward. Kick four goals. This one he sends to the square. Robertson! Oh, fans needs goal. He's second. Well, the big positive to come out of this today is Ben Holland's uh, form. He has just absolutely slayed him across half forward and also full forward. Needs to kick a couple in uh, uh, just to to make the old uh, Coleman medal race a little bit more interesting. He's still up there in contention, but Ben Holland's performance at half forward, 18 possessions. He's taken uh, six marks and kicked four goals. Well, what has been an enthralling contest, and Melbourne have answered every question that St Kilda have put to them this afternoon. This man has been a revelation. Number four, Ben Holland. He's got it again. Was he pushed in the back? No, up by let it go. Good play. Out to Walsh. Going to get another one here. Peter Vardy strolls in to kick goal number two. It is a rat at the MCG for the Demons. It's a very, very good looking scoreboard, that's what it is. 21 goals, seven to the Demons. They got the kicking for goals being exceptional, but that's probably the fact that they played the corridor. Very lucky they're not going to get a free the Saints, to be honest, but they've kept it in the middle. They've brought it back in the middle as often as they possibly can. And they've got a very good spread of goal kickers, the Demons. They are on the march. That will do. Cause some heartache come September. This year, Gary, are you talking about or in general? Well, let me just have a look. So you have a look, uh, Gary. Okay. Let me know. And carry on. Use my stat sheet <laughs> as Walsh through the middle of the ground. Handball's over the top to Vardy. Cameo rolls off the bench to the lead of Neitz. Neitz has kicked two. All of those have come late in the game. In one fact, two in this last quarter. Sorry, Ryan, just doing the stats. One two lost four away from the dome this year. Still working on the record at the dome. Mm. David Neitz. Distance won't be a problem. Got two all in this last quarter. From right on 50. Oh. Let's it rip. Beautiful, wasn't it? Off the boot. Look at that. Goal up by didn't even move. Oh. Gone 65 metres. Sweet and Neitz. Well, he hadn't had a sniff four minutes ago, and now he's just. Uh, just put through the lazy three just to keep the averages up. Been pretty well, and not surprisingly, I suppose, when Luke Penny had done such a good job on him, he came off the ground with that uh, knee come hamstring injury. Well, Neitz, he's broke the shackles. Uh, so, three goals to Neitz. They've had ten separate goal scorers. Not today. Keep sort of St Kilda today, Dino. No, I was a bit... He didn't pay that to St Kilda, no. he just didn't pay the mark. What are you no. suggesting, Ryan? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Jeff White all on his own, Gary. Jeff White all on his own. Oh, bit on the brown low. Get on him. Kick the goal. Oh, he has had a picnic, Jeff White. Had an absolute birthday out there. He's run around. He's had no one to worry about at all. His ruck work was great. That's when you have to worry about someone. You've got someone running at you. Robo spewing because he thought this was a mark and that should, he should have slotted through the 23rd goal. It didn't matter because it ended up in the hands of Jeff White. 25 possessions. He's had seven marks. God knows how many hit outs.